Hello, uh, my name is Darko Dimitrovsky. I am an associate professor at the Faculty of Technology and Metallurgy, Skopje, North Macedonia. <clears throat> I will talk on the topic of application of edible films, namely fetus and film, in prolonging the shelf life of tomatoes by introducing antimicrobial agents. These results are part of an ongoing bilateral project between my team from St. Cyril and Methodius University and a team from Northwest Agricultural and Forest University, Yangling, China. The project is sponsored by our Ministries of Education and Science. The aims of the research uh, is a development of suitable edible film that will create an optimal gas and water barrier that will slow down the bio biochemical reactions in the fruit, hence will slow down the change towards spoilage. After, in order to increase the protection of the film even more, we are trying to introduce additional component in the film that will have antimicrobial properties and will inhibit the microbial growth in damaged fruit, which is a highly visible sign of spoilage. <clears throat> Let me start with a short history of edible films. Waxes were applied to oranges and lemons in China to delay water loss during transportation and storage even in 12th century. So this idea is not new, it's in fact very, very old. Uh, in the early 15th century, the um, uh, biofilms, the edible films were introduced in uh, Japan with the Yuba films made from soy milk proteins. 16th century in England, where waxing and larding of fruits, vegetables, meats and fish was done. And uh, during the 19th century, the first US patent was achieved for, um, for gelatin films. Uh, however, in the beginning of the 20th century, synthetic uh, polymers derived from fossil fuels, so-called plastics, were invented and this technology was vastly incorporated into food packaging. Once was thought that the fact that this uh, material seemingly lasted forever uh, was an advantage. No, no organisms had evolved uh, that were capable of digesting these complicated materials, but in fact, in the last two decades or so, uh, what was considered an advantage is of course now a great disadvantage. Plastic might sit in a landfill or litter a street for thousands of years without decomposing. More worrying uh, are reports that much of our plastic junk, including vast numbers of tiny plastic microparticles that might have broken off from plastic-based clothes in washing machines, have found their way into our oceans and eaten by the fish. Uh, and soon, if not already, plastics will find its way into our diet. That is why alternative ways of protecting the food are emerging more and more and uh, edible films are one of these alternatives. Edible films are uh, consumed uh, with the product, are biodegradable, so they are not affecting the environment, can increase the caloric and nutritional value of the product if uh, uh, such components are introduced in, in them, uh, can be used for packaging of small portions along with synthetic films. Edif edible films can be made of hydrocolloids such as proteins or so polysaccharides, lipids such as fatty acids, acylglycerols, waxes, or can be made from both as composites. They can be applied on the product by submerging the product into the liquid biofilm, by spraying the uh, film on the product. Uh, laminating is when uh, the uh, biofilm, the liquid biofilm solidifies and then the product is wrapped into, uh, into the biofilm or by brushing and then of course in each of these steps uh, follows drying. Our films were made uh, we, uh, with Hitozan. We also uh, tried to alginate uh, as a uh, polymer for creating uh, biofilms, but Hitozan gave better results. 
So we continued working with uh, hitosan biofilms. Uh, hitosan is a linear polysaccharide. It is made from hitin. Uh, hitin, after cellulose, it is uh, most abundant in nature. It is part of the exoskeleton of some marine animals and also it is present in mushrooms. Uh, it has many applications like uh, in biomedical devices, drug delivery, it is used as catalysis, uh, uh, water purification, cosmetics, etc. And uh, as found in many uh, other studies, including in our lab, it has an excellent barrier function in the films as well as some antimicrobial properties. One of the antimicrobial uh, um, agents that we investigated was garlic water extract since it, since, uh, it, was, um, uh, it has high antimicrobial, antifungal, antiparasitic and antiviral activity proven in many studies. Organosulfur components are most abundant in garlic of which allicin was found to be most active against fungi and uh, bacteria. Uh, basil essential oil uh, is the other component that we tested for antimicrobial properties and against tomato molds. Uh, basil essential oil is, derivative, uh, is a derivative of Otium basilicum plant. The oil, the oil is extracted by the method of steam distillation from the leaves and flowering tops. It has high antimicrobial activity against bacteria but also uh, against yeast and molds. Uh, and the active components are monoterpenoids, uh, of which linalol is uh, the uh, major component present in the basil oil, fo followed by geraniol, and etc. Uh, natamycin uh, is a component that we use as a positive control. Uh, this component is used for decades in the food industry as a hurdle to fungal uh, outgrow and dairy products mainly but also in other foods as well. It is produced by fermentation of certain types of bacterium streptomyces. Uh, throughout the European Union, it is approved only as a surface preservative for certain cheese and dried sausage uh, products, but in some con other countries, it, uh, they are, uh, the uh, natomycin is used as a um, uh, preservative in uh, uh, salad. So it's, uh, I think it is a matter of time when uh, it will be uh, allowed uh, for other products uh, as well. The effect uh, of hitosan films on the tomatoes. So first we created a hitosan biofilm. By optimization, the concentration of the polymer and the rest of the additives in the film for providing optimal water and gas permeability to prolong the shelf life of stored tomatoes. Um, as seen on the uh, on the picture, these are representative of a, a larger batch. Uh, we accelerated uh, the aging of tomatoes at the temperature of 35 degrees. Um, on the left, the, it is a, a control uh, a sample of tomato without film, and on the right, the tomato is uh, with applied uh, hitosan film. Uh, after 14 days of accelerated aging, uh, we can see the result. The, the control sample is in what much uh, uh, worse condition than the one with the biofilm. This is on the um, outside, and also uh, the same. Uh, the same. Um, it is on the uh, inside. So the control sample looks much much worse than the um, than the, the sample with hitosan film. Uh, so um, we succeeded to, uh, to create a biofilm that will decrease the rate of the biochemical reactions in the tomato and prolong its shelf life by factor of two at least. For determining the antimicrobial properties, uh, of the garlic extract and the basil essential oil, we isolated molds from naturally spoiled tomato. We managed to isolate three different species, uh, which by using morphological characteristics and comparing it with literature, we tentatively identified the species as Rhizopus, Aspergillus and Alternaria. 
These molds are often found as a cause for post-harvest decay of tomatoes. Uh, these are representative plates of the disc diffusion method for determining the antimicrobial properties of garlic extract and basil essential oil. The agents were incorporated into the biofilm in concentrations that will not affect the barrier properties of the polymer. The, film, uh, the films were poured in uh, uh, plastic dishes and uh, dried in, uh, on room temperature for 48 hours. Uh, you can see on this picture. Uh, how this biofilm looks like after 48 hours. It looks like a plastic uh, uh, film, uh, like a plastic uh, foil. Uh, then discs were cut from the film and positioned on petri dishes uh, which previously were inoculated by the sprayed plate method with each of the isolated molds. Uh, as seen on these pictures, the antimicrobial agents introduced in the film inhibit the growth of the molds when compared to the control film. This is the control film is on the upper left corner, uh, and uh, the control film the control film was made only with hitosan. In the case of Rhizopus, uh, basil oil had shown the widest inhibition zone. Next, uh, it was the film with natamycin. Uh, and, uh, and the one with garlic extract had the least but still present inhibition. Uh, in the case of aspergillus, um, natamycin had the widest inhibition zone, uh, followed by the basil oil. The garlic extract had similar effect as the control, uh, so the inhibition was not significant. And uh, uh, natamycin had the best effect to alternaria uh, species as well. The basil oil had also visible uh, visible uh, inhibition, while the garlic extract had very small inhibition, barely different from the control. However, still visible. Uh, these are preliminary tests of the application of the hitosan films with the antimicrobial agents. Uh, as can be seen on the picture, the tomato samples were cut in order to increase the probability for mold infection uh, and aged at 35 degrees for 11 days. Uh, it is noticed that the film uh, uh, with basil oil had shown the best results in protecting the samples, this, this picture here in the upper right corner. Uh, where the cuts were, were not infected at all compared to the control sample uh, with only hitosan film on it where the cuts are uh, fully infected with mold. The films with garlic extract and natamycin have also some visually visual protective role but however uh, there are still some infection uh, at the cuts. As a conclusion, uh, we can say that the edible citizen film have doubled uh, the shelf life of the tomatoes by extending its sensory quality, reduced the water loss and color change of tomatoes during storage. Basil essential oil and garlic extract were successfully incorporated into the film composition and both shown a decreasing effect on the isolated modes with basil oil being more active than the garlic extract. Uh, the preliminary experiment shown that addition of antimicrobial agent in the edible film will delay the mold presence on tomato surface during storage and uh, a common um, conclusion is that using edible films in the food industry will have great economical and environmental effects. Thank you for your attention.